A um, little background on biomimicry and the venture business office and my career at the San Diego Zoo. Um, biomimicry is simply being inspired by nature and learning from nature. And so it's a wonderful fit with our mission at the Zoological Society or the San Diego Zoo, um, which involves conservation, education, and rec recreation. And uh, the Venture Business Office is looking for those mission-related growth opportunities that uh, allow us to pursue and fund our mission. So with biomimicry, it fits very well with this conference where the theme is sustainability and stewardship because we live in a consumption-based economy, and in the consumption-based economy, resources are being de depleted. It's not sustainable. The environment and the economy have been at odds, and this is a losing proposition. Natural, hab I'm sorry, natural habitat is disappearing, and things are changing rapidly. Biodiversity is in decline. This is a threat to our sur survival. All of us are stewards of nature. The zoo is working to save endangered species. This is a wonderful fit with our mission and a chance for the Zoological Society of San Diego to once again lead in conservation. Um, biomimicry does have the um, opportunity to impact lifestyles and personal choices. Um, with with um, conservation and um, the depletion of natural resources and uh, the threat to habitat and so on and so forth, these can be um, um, very disconcerting conversations, but, but really what biomimicry offers is a positive solution. Humans are innovative, and it drives our economy. Sustainable solutions present an opportunity to transform our economy and save the, and save the environment. Biomimicry is innovation inspired by nature, and by its nature, it is sustainable. Inspiration is everywhere in nature. It's in the function, the design, the behavior, the ecosystem, it's at the nano level, it's in the processes, it's in the composition and collaboration among species, it's in the shapes. So there are opportunities everywhere to transform everything. This offers incredible opportunity for people to create a better future to positively impact the economy and the environment. Um, I'd like to talk about the impact biomimicry could have on green jobs and in industries in the future. It starts with the um, opportunity biomimicry offers. As we learn from nature, it can potentially transform every industry because biomimicry by its nature is extremely efficient. You have to be efficient in order to survive. You're often making do with minimal resources and you can be in harsh environments. Now, you take that um, natural tendency of nature to be efficient and creative and apply that to industry, and you see that right now is a time of global change, but we've made vast advances in high tech, in computer simulation, and the growing area of clean tech, nanotech offers incredible opportunities to understand nature like never before and tap into its brilliance. We've got a competitive global economy that are looking for an innovation edge what a wonderful opportunity for the U.S. economy to pursue sustainable innovation. We've got um, radical resource productivity, which again is the incredible efficiencies that nature offers. And we have green chemistry, which is a non-toxic approach to, to creating um, incredible products and, and um, materials and, and designs. So it offers incredible opportunities to the next generation. It impacts every industry. So whether you're an engineer, a biologist, a technologist, a, um, whether you're looking at behavior, um, an artist, an architect, it's going to impact you and offer tremendous potential. This, um, this symposium offers an incredible opportunity for students as well as media to come and learn from the panelists about what's happening in the world of sustainability and stewardship. And as it relates to biomimicry, it's a chance for us to share what's happening in San Diego and at the San Diego Zoo. It might um, be inspirational for people to hear that a zoo is taking a leading role and making that connection between the economy and the environment and how the depletion of natural habitat affects our ability to save endangered species. And so we're all in this together. And the incredible opportunity when you recognize the potential of biomimicry 
that this offers students and, and the next generation. So we can share some of the things we're doing, like the fact that we partnered with the Biomimicry Institute and the Biomimicry Guild, which are the organizations of Janine Benyes, who is a world-renowned face for biomimicry. She wrote the book, Biomimicry Innovation Inspired by Nature. And we have partnered with the city of San Diego, who's a very forward-looking city who is, uh, has aspirations to create a clean tech hub as well as uh, grow the field of biomimicry in San Diego. They see the wonderful synergy there. And the fact that San Diego is a natural hub for biomimicry. I mean, when you start with the world-famous San Diego Zoo and the nearly 5 million visitors we have coming through our facility and that we can share uh, an inspirational um, solution for the economy and the environment, that San Diego is a major tourist attraction, and we have numerous universities in the area, and the vast biodiversity in the region and the oceans and deserts that are in the region, uh, let alone San Diego has already proven itself as a wireless hub. Um, it's becoming a clean tech hub, and it's, it's established itself as a biotech hub. So this is a wonderful um, strategy and uh, collaborative effort in San Diego to um, seek out very positive solutions for people and the planet. And so this should create incredible job opportunities. So this is something that students may not have had on their radar screen, but what an incredible opportunity to get in on the ground floor of an exciting new topic and the growth of a field that, again, could transform nearly every industry.